when the Cath to Codex project was being proposed, and that book was on display today in the bookbinders room. It was the plan was to create a 14th century book from scratch. I decided to contribute the story of Oathbinder, the Midrealm Sword of State. And the poem is written in the style of Gowan and the Green Knight, which is the Middle English tale of heroic knightly virtue. Father, why this rapid rush to reach the king's bright sword? Hush now, child, I'll tell the tale. Near a score of dragon kings had dubbed new knights, served by swords at their own sides. Then Prince Laurelin, hammer holding, forged oathbinder, a sword to be the dragon's own. As soon as crown caressed his brow, he called the four great dukes of dragon's fame, Andrew, Dagon, Finvar, Merowal, knew they not why their king called them. Then was brought forth Oathbinder, sun bright shining, a warrior's weapon of watery steel, singing soldier song. The dukes each held her hand to hand, then gave her to Lorellan's friends. She was a weapon fit for king made for making knights, whose oath of fealty rings and lifts all to new heights. Sadly, sword was sore misused by some who sat the dragon throne, wronged as wood ends, camp gate marker, reduced to rust, a ruined relic, reclaimed by maker, he clean, revived, restored her radiance. Decades passed, and blade was bending. Skillful swordsmith Gwillem called reforged sword in dragon's blaze, birthed new blade for Tannis use, humilitas, merging metal old and new. Oathbinder once more blazes bright, she's made Two hundred knights and more, and kings o'er five score served. And now you know her lord, why her esteems deserved.